you know. Amen. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another night of Bible study. We are so glad to have you. We are thanking you for joining in with us. It's going to be a wonderful night as we dig deeper in the Word. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So I'm Minister Alicia, and I'm here with um, Elder Travis Craig, and we're going to be going into the Word shortly. Amen. Amen. So why don't you tag somebody in tonight's lesson? Tag, share, a like. And if you're watching us on YouTube channel, please give us a thumbs up. Amen. 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 Praise God. I'm going to open up with a word of prayer. Yes. Father God, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for this day that we have not seen before. We thank you, God, that you are a good God. You are merciful and you are kind. You are loving and forgiving. God, we thank you for keeping us, and we thank you for surrounding us with your love and your protection, God. And we give you all honor and glory. We pray right now for those that are watching that you will continue to bless them in the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us revelation. Give us insight of your word in the name of Jesus. We give you all honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And uh, tonight's lesson is entitled, uh, Peter and John Preach with Boldness. Let me just make it sure. Mm -hmm, Peter and John Preach with Boldness. We're coming from, excuse me as I try to uh, collect myself here. We, I've been running all day, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm tired of giving you all excuses, <laughs> I, and, I, and I can't do that. But um, Let me help you while you get yourself set up. <laughs> Yes, well, okay. I'm going to turn it over into the hands of Minister Alicia for a minute as I, as I get settled. Thank Amen. you, Minister. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, so the title of our lesson for today is Peter and John Preach Boldness. Amen. Peter and John Preach Boldness. And our lesson is coming from Acts, the fourth chapter, the sixth through the 21st verse. The time of action is 30 AD and the place of action is is Jerusalem. As you all know, this is our Sunday school lesson for the upcoming week. And our golden text read, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other, none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. And that is found in the book of Acts, the fourth chapter and the 12th verse. A little bit about the introduction. We're going to read from the commentary. Amen. Amen. The apostles often faced arrest and persecution for their faith. It caused them dearly to live by their commitment to Jesus Christ. God gave them boldness that they did not have in themselves. They were determined to preach Christ in spite of all opposition. In short, they lived in the power of the resurrected Christ. We too can and should live in the power of and provision of our Savior. Peter was weak and fearful in himself, but when he claimed the power of Jesus Christ, he became strong in faith. So as we study this week's lesson, we want to see our faith strengthened from seeing the conviction and determination that the apostles showed. So we're gonna do exactly like Peter did. You may be feeling fearful, regarding your faith, but God will strengthen your faith through Jesus Christ. We can't do it by ourselves. We need the Lord in our lives. We need the Lord to be strengthened. So if you're weak in your faith, come on over on the Lord's side, amen? Get into your word, pray, seek the Lord's face, and he will show himself mighty and strong in your life. Amen. 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 You can continue on. I'm still trying to get, get it together here. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with a little bit of the lesson background. Yes. Again, I'm coming from the commentary. And it says, this week's lesson takes place during the early days of the Jerusalem church. The followers of Christ had been endowed by the Holy Ghost. I like that, being endowed by the Holy Ghost. Causing these believers to boldly proclaim the gospel to thousands. And we can see that again if you read up in Acts, the second chapter, 1 through the 40 verse. Many of whom were converted to Christ as the Lord added to the church daily, as many as should be saved. 
The apostles also performed miracles of healing. One such miracle of healing was done by Peter and John at the temple called Beautiful. The temple, I'm sorry, the temple gate called Beautiful, where they healed a lame man. This particular miracle had both positive and negative results. Now the truth is, many people who witnessed the man healing ran to Peter and John in amazement, which gave Peter the opportunity to say and say sternly. Negatively, as a result of this healing, oppositions arose from outside the church, led by the Jewish religious leaders who felt threatened by this new movement. Peter and John were taken into custody by the religious leaders, but their persecution only served to strengthen the church, which continued to grow. You can't fight God. You Amen. can't fight. You may try, but you can't. You won't win. Amen. So while in custody of the Jewish religious leaders, they were brought before them and questioned about the healing of the lame man. So this is our lesson begins with Peter and John, and they're facing the Sanhedrin Amen. Council. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And um, as previously stated, our lesson is coming from Acts, the fourth chapter, beginning at the sixth verse through the 21st verse. And I'm going to pick it up at the sixth verse. I'm going to start reading our scripture. And Ananias, the high priest, and Cephas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest, were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole? Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of your builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. I love being with Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And beholding the man which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle had been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that is spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this, in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people for all men glorify God for that which was done. Amen. 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 Now, um, I'm hearing an echo in here. Uh, amen. Let, let us first acknowledge some people that are on. Sister Angie, uh, Missionary Angie, we see you. God bless you. Uh, and that's my wife, hey boo, I see you. God bless you. <laughs> uh, Mother Blackwell, we see you. God, God bless, bless you, Mother. Amen. Uh, let me 
uh, let us uh, get into this lesson. Again, I apologize. I'm hearing some echo. Let's see if I can do something about that. Uh, turn down some of these. Okay, I think that's a little better. Um, <clears throat> the title of the lesson is Peter and John Preach with Boldness. And it's coming from the book of Acts. Acts, that fourth chapter in Acts. And the uh, entire title of, of the book of Acts is actually the Acts of the Apostles. Mm -hmm. And what it uh, entails is the uh, uh, the building of the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it, and it uh, gives us a first century view of how the, the word of God was preached unto the Gentile, unto the Jews and to the Gentiles. And people heard the word, mm -hmm. believed the word, and was drawn to the church. Yeah. Amen. There's power in the word. Say that again. There is power in the There's word. There's power in the word. Amen. 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 Um, now, th this particular passage of scripture here, uh, it, it, it begins, and we're going to just dive right in because we can go so many ways. Mm -hmm. So many ways. Uh, we're going to just dive right in. Amen. At verse 6. Um, now, you at home, I encourage you to go back and read the chapter 4 because you'll get a better understanding of where we're coming into this, this um, portion of script. Matter of fact, let me just give you the uh, background so that you don't miss the breakdown. Amen. Okay, Because in chapter 3, we find that Peter and John was going to the church for their daily prayer. And the, and the Bible lets us to know that they were going at the ninth hour, mm -hmm. which was the time of the evening prayer. Now, let me pause right there because I, I want to say it was at the ninth hour that Jesus on the cross cried out in a loud voice and, and gave up the ghost. And what did he cry? Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And it gave up the ghost. At the hour of the evening sacrifice or evening prayer. So, so this was a habit of the apostles. Mm -hmm. They would uh, go daily to prayer. And this one day they went. And the Bible says there was a man that was lame from birth. Mm -hmm. uh, he was laying at the gate called beautiful. Mm, my goodness. A and... As he laid there, he saw Peter and John coming, and, and he cried out uh, asking for alms or asking for uh, help, handouts, money, if you will. And, and the, this is the scripture that we love to, to, to talk uh, about, speak on, where Peter says, you know, silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give unto you. And he tells, rise up and walk in the name of the, the, Lord, name Jesus of the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Come on now. Amen. Uh, and the, did you want to say something? No, there? I'm, uh, I'm okay. agreeing. Because, and, and the man gets up, walks, and, and now that gate, that, that and I want us to get this, because that gate called Beautiful, which, which was the perimeter, if you will, the man was on the outside of the presence of God at the gate called Beautiful. He now was able to walk in to the presence of God with, with, with the disciples of God and worship the true and living God. Mm, my God. That's glorious. My God. Uh, uh, now, now, that's where we are. Now, the, the elders and rulers of the day were judged. They, 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 they were upset that, wait a minute, first and foremost, uh, these disciples of Jesus, wait, we just crucified Jesus, you know, some two months ago, uh, uh, and we thought that would be the end. Mm -hmm. But yet you still are preaching Christ. So, so uh, verse number seven says, um, well, let me go back. Verse number six says, and, and 
Ananias or Annas and the high, excuse me, Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas. And we, we, we've heard of Caiaphas before because he was one of the priests that sent Jesus to Pilate. Okay? Uh, and John and Alexander and many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. I want, I want us to get this. Mm -hmm. They, they uh, gathered all the, 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 those that were in power, all those that, let me take this off, all those that knew the word, all those that were supposed to be the learned of God. Mm -hmm. They gathered them all together. And, and when they had set them in the midst, meaning Peter and John, uh, uh, they asked by what power, I'm in verse 7, by what power or by what name have ye done this? Now they're talking about them healing the man that was lame. And the Bible lets us to know that he was lame for more than 40 years mm -hmm. from birth. They, they was not rejoicing that a miracle had happened. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they were uh, looking for a reason to accuse uh, men of God, disciples of Christ, for doing a good work. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Apostle, we see you. God bless you. God bless you. They, they, they were trying to uh, uh, accuse the disciples of Christ, mm -hmm. the ministers of God, oh. a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Uh, they, they, they wanted to accuse them of doing something rather than uh, rejoicing for the miracle that God... They, and they knew this man. Mm -hmm. Th these were not uh, major... Uh, let me see. These were not highly populated cities to where they did not know one another. Mm -hmm. and, and when we when we continue reading and read, read on into chapter 5, we'll see where the Bible says um, how the man was uh, uh, lame from birth and had been that way for more than 40 years. So they knew this man. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't want to go too uh, minister if you want to jump in just you know you know you know how they used to say in the old church <laughs> tug the shirt tails or the <laughs> coattails you know I will thank you <laughs> amen uh, it says here verse number 8 because uh, uh, then Peter mm -hmm. filled with the Holy Ghost now wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute now we have to we have to understand Luke the physician mm -hmm. Luke is writing the book of Acts the Acts of the uh, Luke, the, 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 the gospel writer that wrote the Gospel of Luke also wrote the uh, Acts of the Apostles. Now, mm -hmm. let, let us not get it misunderstood. Luke was not an actual apostle that walked with Christ. No, he came along after, and he walked with Paul and, and Peter, and he got the information from firsthand witnesses of Christ. Mm -hmm. and, and he's now relaying to us what has went down. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and he says here, uh, then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel. Okay, uh, again, the court is packed. It's they, packed. They, they went and got all the, those that supposedly knew the word of God mm -hmm. and, and um, asked Peter and John. John, 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 the son of Zebedee, the, the, the one that Jesus called the sons of thunder, James and John, the sons of thunder. I, I wonder what their attitude must have been like for Jesus to call them the, the sons, sons of, of thunder. thunder. Come on now. Um, we'll back up a little bit because ahead, you said yes. something very interesting. Mm -hmm. You said then Peter Fill with the Holy Come Ghost. Come on. Yes, yes ma'am. Fill with the Holy Ghost. Somebody may be asking that question. What does it mean to be filled mm. with the Holy Ghost? Mm. Why, how can I get that? Filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on. Because, you know, the anointing makes a difference. If you got the Holy Ghost in your life and you're doing whatever you're doing for God, don't you know he'll charge it? Come on, yes. He yes. will charge it. That Holy Ghost just speaks volumes and Amen. volumes and volumes, more than what you can say with your voice, and it well, goes out. So he was filled with filled the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. But 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 that that's an important point because come on now, let, let us not forget that this is Peter, 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 who who uh, two months prior. 
prior, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a general generality. Two months prior, when Jesus was being crucified, mm -hmm. denied even knowing Jesus uh, while he was going through his trial and crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they say when Peter was following following far off in the shadow, mm -hmm. some woman saw him and said, hit, hit, you, you <laughs> one of them. He said, no, I don't even know the man. Know the man. In, in fact, Peter got so adamant about it, the Bible says, Peter started cussing. Start cussing <laughs> folk out. I don't bleep, 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 bleep. I ain't no di a disciple. You know. Uh, <laughs> he said some choice words. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Use your imagination because I, you know, though we are saved and delivered, uh, we, we are uh, no stranger to the choice words. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, but, but not only that, Remember, uh, when we go back to Acts 1 and 8, Jesus had already promised, because Jesus knew. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Peter didn't get this boldness because of his own self. Jesus had already prophesied mm -hmm. that, that, that I want you to go uh, to the upper room and wait uh, for the Holy Ghost, and, and you will receive power from on high. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now. Th that, that's why Luke lets us to know that Peter being Filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh you're my. filled with the Holy come, Ghost. Come I can on, tell. Come on. <laughs> Why are you over here? <laughs> and, and, the, 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 and, well, the, 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 the songwriter, he, he, he first made a statement, uh -huh. then he asked a question. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that there, there's something within me <laughs> that holdeth the rain. Something within me <laughs> that vanishes pain. <laughs> something within me I cannot explain. But there's something within me. Amen. <laughs> then he asked the question because he, he ain't let none of, none of us off the hook. Uh -huh. he, he said, it ain't just me. Mm -hmm. He said, have you got that something within? That, that burning desire. Burning. Have you got that something within that does not tire? Ha, uh, oh, if you got that something within, that heavenly fire. Then let the world know let there's the world know. something within. There's Come something. on now. <laughs> what is that something? <laughs> something on the inside. Yes. Working on the outside. Come on now. Bringing about a change Woo! in our lives. <laughs> glory. Glory. It's a glory in here. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and and, and uh, Acts 1 and 8, I'm going to read from the English Standard Version because I want you to know this ain't our opinion. This Bible. This Bible. Bible. Jesus. This is Jesus talking. Uh, in Acts 1 and 8, he says, but you will, will receive power, power when the Holy Spirit have, has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. That word power. Come on. Power. Uh, or uh, as Elder Blackwell would say, power. <laughs> 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 hey, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. That's yes. glorious. So, so, so the Holy Spirit, uh, and, and Luke lets us know that Peter being filled with the Holy Spirit, he, he no longer feared what man could do to him. Uh -uh. He, he said, because whatever man could do to the flesh, he has no effect on the soul. Mm -hmm. He has no effect on the spirit. He has no effect on the God that's in me. And that's what the Holy Ghost will do. Come on. He gives yeah. you that boldness that you need to Come get the on. job done. Amen. You may be walking in fear, but once you're filled with the Holy Ghost, all that fear vanishes. It goes away. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Now we can be like the thunder. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Now we can be that, that, that thunder that, that, that just roars and, 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 and uh, brings forth the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Uh, was, did you want to? No, but Mother Blackwell is saying something. Mother Blackwell says sometimes we have to watch what, what we say, and the Holy Ghost will stop that. Come on now. The Come Holy on. Ghost will yes, put you mother. in check. Yes, he will. Mother. Yes, Mother. Yes, yes Mother. And indeed. we enjoyed your praise Sunday, Mother. Come on. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory, we glory, have to glory. rejoice with them that do Amen. rejoice. Amen, I'm rejoicing with mother. Because when there's a move of the spirit, that, that's right. time to I'm rejoice. I'm in the move. Come on, Amen. Yes. Amen. Um, 
Now, verse number nine goes on to say, if we this day be examined of the good deed, am I on the right? Yep. Of the good deed done to the impotent man, mm -hmm. by what means is he made whole? Again, they're talking about the man that was laid at the gate called beautiful. Mm -hmm. Him being impotent just simply means he could not walk. Could and not the walk. Bible lets us to know that it was, he had been this way since birth for mm -hmm. over 40 years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it wasn't nobody that, that, they just, that they just brought and put into place mm -hmm. so that they can uh, make a scene and everybody be like, ooh, look what they, no, mm -hmm. they knew this man mm -hmm. from birth, could not walk. And, and they begin, you know, see, see, when they ask Peter, um, uh, uh, by what power or by what name have you done this? Oh, you know, Peter was already wanting to say something. They just gave him license because, you know, he wanted to be respectful because they had they had arrested them mm -hmm. and threw them in, and threw them in jail overnight. Mm -hmm. So now Peter is able to talk, and he already wanted to proclaim Christ. So Peter, Peter uh, said, if we this day, ver verse number nine, be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man. First, Peter, Peter is now indicting them. You're accusing us of doing a good deed to somebody that could not walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. by, by what means is he made whole? P -p Peter is saying, be it known unto you, I'm in verse 10 here, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Go ahead, Peter. whom you crucified, <laughs> I, I mean, he just bring that little reminder up, uh, whom you crucified, mm -hmm. whom God raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. Now, now. Uh, he, he just bringing in all the heavenly, holy power. He said, uh, with boldness. With boldness. Come on Standing now. Standing before the Sanhedrin. Come on and now. And speaking the word of God, the gospel. Come on, He's yes. preaching the word. Come on. <laughs> and, and again, they brought in all the high priests for intimidation. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? The I learned mean, men. The learned men, yes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 okay, let, let I want to, the, the scripture going to let us know. It's going to let us know. Scripture going to let us know. It says here, and, and be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom mm -hmm. God raised from the dead, mm -hmm. even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. He said, if you're going to get upset because we done made somebody whole <laughs> by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm -hmm. for, uh, whom you crucified, uh, but even though you, you killed him, <laughs> God raised him from the dead. Come on now. Now, now the God that you say you serve, mm -hmm. but, you know, raised the man that you killed. You know, uh, oh my God. Peter, Peter was hitting him, hitting him with the haymaker. Left, right, left, right. You're too good. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> he was hitting him with the haymakers. But making sense, you know, because well, since I, I wanted to say it anyway, but since you asked the question, and I'm glad you did, uh, let me remind you, <laughs> you know, um, uh, uh, verse number eleven says, and, and this is the stone which yes. was set at naught, yes, of you the builder, of okay. you builders, and now he, he's he's going back to prophecy, he's going back mm -hmm. to scripture. And we're going to get there because, mm -hmm. oh, it's a whole, as Minister Alicia said, it's a whole lot in these scriptures yes. on this night today. Uh, he, he, he begins to tell them, this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders. Th they being the builders, they being, as we said, the learned mm -hmm. of the word. Mm -hmm. They being the leaders mm -hmm. of the people, Amen. the Pharisees the elders and the scribes, they were the ones that read the laws of Moses. Mm -hmm. They were the one that, ones that were supposed to teach mm -hmm. the laws of Moses, mm -hmm. but they began to teach man's tradition over God's word, which is why Jesus called them a generation of vipers. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Jesus. And, and Peter is here in all his boldness because 
being filled with the Holy he's Ghost. He's under the influence. Come on, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yes, he's under the influence of the Holy Ghost. He's charged. Charged. Because the power of God, the power of the Holy Ghost will charge you. Come on. Come It'll make you bold in those places where you didn't think you could speak or mm. you didn't have the voice or you're fearful. The Holy Ghost will move in you yeah. and you will begin to proclaim Come in the on. name of Jesus through Jesus Christ. Yeah. We could do it through Jesus Christ. Amen. And even what Peter was doing, Jesus had already said he was going to do it. Well, not, not only him, but all that named the name of Christ as Lord and Savior. Oh, what you mean, preacher? Well, let's take a look back in Luke 12 and 12. And this is Jesus speaking. And, 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 oh, my. Yeah, we're going to give y'all some scripture tonight. Get your pens, get your get pads. Your pens. Write it Bible down. study. Amen. Amen. That's what we study in Bible. Mm -hmm. We study in the Word because... It's the word that will set you free. Yes, Lord Jesus. And the word will heal you. Come on. And make come you whole. Come on. Come on. And the word it will, will heal, heal you. you. Come on, minister. Make you whole. Where well, yeah. there's nothing missing, nothing broken. Come on now. You're going to know you've been touched by God. Yeah. You're going to know you've been healed. You've been delivered and set free. Set free. I'm sorry. By the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 And Jesus, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 11. Verse 11. Now, now we, we know the situation that Peter and John is in. They've been arrested mm -hmm. for, for healing a man and preaching the gospel. And preaching Jesus. Jesus says Jesus. this in, in Luke 12, 11 and 12. And I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Mm -hmm. He says, and when they bring you before the synagogue and the rulers and the authorities. Hold on. Let's, let's pause right there. The sin, they, 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 they brought them before the the, the synagogue because they held court at the gate of the temple. Mm -hmm. So now they're before the synagogues and the rulers, the Pharisees, the elders, the scribes. The, these were the rulers of Israel. So, so Jesus has already prophesied this in Luke 12 and 12. He says, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say. Amen. Verse number 12 says, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Mm -hmm. Come on. When you're doing a work <laughs> for the Lord, oh, and somebody accuses you, the Holy Spirit will give you what to say. Now, now, and, and let me uh, put a, a pause right there because I've heard people use this scripture uh, as an excuse for not preparing to teach or share a word. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Holy Spirit will give me what the... No, that ain't what that scripture is talking about. No, I mean, when you get accused for doing a work for Christ, after you've done your study, after you've looked up the word, after you've uh, 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 put your uh, manuscript together as to how you're going to present the word of God to the people, now if you get accused... Mm -hmm. You know, the, the scripture says the Holy Spirit will teach you what to say in that very hour. It's not an excuse for being lazy at studying to prepare yourself to teach a word. Amen. I, Amen. I just thought I'd just throw that down in there. <laughs> Amen. That was real good. Amen. Amen. And, and now where was I in the, in the, in the scriptures? It says, uh, verse number 11 says, this is the stone which the builders set at naught. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the cornerstone. Okay, now we got to go back to scripture because <laughs> Peter is only Peter is only telling them what the what the scriptures have already said, and that's why Jesus says, "I come not to abolish the law, mm -hmm. but to fulfill it." Mm -hmm. Now Peter is saying, uh, uh, "And the stone which was set at naught." Let's go back to. Um, yeah, see, see, I had to study myself to get, <laughs> to get ready because this is good, this is good. It's a lot, amen. Uh, P Peter says here, um, what is it? Uh, oh, two Corinthians. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, Zechariah 10 and 4. Yeah, Zechariah 10 and 4. That, that's one of the prophets. Mm -hmm. And while you're finding that, yes, I'm going to say, um, read what the commentary says yeah. about the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, in a building construction, the cornerstone is a stone at the base of a corner where two walls meet and are lined up with it. 
The cornerstone is the supreme foundation stone mm -hmm. governing the structure of their entire building. So like a cornerstone, God had accepted the Jesus that they rejected Amen. and had and given him a place of supremacy. He has now become the head of the corner. <laughs> Amen. So in essence, Peter was telling the Jewish leaders that God had raised up this Jesus whom they rejected and by setting him at his right hand has made him both the cornerstone and the headstone the center of unity and the place of power. Amen. Amen. And, and being um, into construction myself, let me say this. The cornerstone was the stone set whereby all the angles of the building was set uh, upon, uh, determined by where that cornerstone was set. So if that cornerstone was off by just a little, mm -hmm. that, that building was liable to fall down. But, but Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Yes, he is. Uh, uh, and God says to his prophet Zechariah in Zechariah 10 and 4, from him shall come the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow. Uh, uh, and that's in Zechariah uh, 10 and 4. But there's other scriptures that I want to get to because it'll let us know. Matter of fact, Psalm 118 and 22, it'll give us a better understanding. Let me say it like in that manner. Uh, when we go back to Psalm 118 mm -hmm. and 22, the psalmist says about the chief cornerstone, and I, I'm, a, I'm a page turner, so if you got your electronic devices, just punch it, in, punch it on in there and get to Psalm 118 and uh, verse 22. Amen, Praise amen, apostle, and the spirit will teach you. Yes, he will. Amen. It says the stone which the builder rejected Come on. has become the chief cornerstone. Yes, that's 118 and 22. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and that's the psalmist. The, these psalms was written uh, some five, six, seven hundred years before Christ even came. But Christ is the chief cornerstone. Yes, he is. Uh, he's the one that God chose. He's the one that God favored. And when we go to Isaiah... Uh, oh, Isaiah uh, uh, 28 and 16. Just read that one for us, uh, Minister. And, and, and then we'll continue on because I want us to understand Christ is the cornerstone. Christ is the cornerstone. He, he's the, the one upon, he's the foundation upon which the church is built today. Yes, he Amen. Is. Yes, Isaiah 28 and 16. Amen. Okay, Isaiah 28 and 16, mm -hmm. it says, Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Come on. Behold, mm -hmm. I lay in Zion mm -hmm. a stone for a foundation, yeah. a tried stone, mm. a precious cornerstone, what? a sure foundation. Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. believes will not act hastily. My God, whoever my God. believes, amen, will not act hastily. God says, through his prophet Isaiah. He said, mm -hmm. uh, a cornerstone, a chief cornerstone, a tried stone, precious. precious. Oh, my God. Precious. Jesus is the cornerstone, y'all. And, and, you know, let, let, let me, uh, let, let us read the, the, the golden text mm -hmm. for today, mm -hmm. which is Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. Amen. So neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it right there. Saints, we are living under the dispensation of grace, under a new covenant, and under this covenant, the Bible says there is no other name uh under heaven by which we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Mm. And, and, you know, let, let, let us put a pin right there because we know the naysayer is going to say, well, in Hebrew, there is no J. So how can it be Jesus? Well, in Hebrew, it's Yeshua. And, and, and it's funny how they will say that about the name Jesus. 
But but I ain't heard I ain't never heard it said about Jacob, Joshua, uh 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 uh, uh Jonah, uh you know <laughs> they, they, they only bring it up when it comes to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Excuse me, but we get but we have all these other J's in the Bible. Amen. But we understand that that um in English or in, or in the Greek language it was Jesus, uh but in the Hebrew, it's Joshua, which is why they, the Bible lets us to understand that Joshua in the Old Testament is a um, uh, a forerunner to Jesus. Uh, uh, Joseph, that's the other name Joseph. I was trying to think of. They, they, you know, we understand there's no J in Hebrew, but that still does not uh, negate the fact that Jesus is G and Jesus walked this earth. Amen. Amen. He did. Amen. 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 Oh, excuse me right here. Okay, I understand. Uh, looking at my time. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Now, uh, verse number 12 says, uh, verse number 11, we just read 12. Mm -hmm. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them mm -hmm. that they had been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Again, now they, they looked at Peter and John mm -hmm. and, and remember who Peter, let us remember who Peter and John was. Mm -hmm. well, where did Jesus find them uh, washing their nets at the, uh, on the Sea of Galilee? Mm -hmm. uh, they were fishermen. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't have to go to school. They, they, they learned how to fish from their daddies. Mm -hmm. And they helped their daddies to fish. That's how they made their living. That, that's mm -hmm. why they marveled that these were ignorant men, but yet could, yet knew the law better than they did. Mm. Come on. Now, that, that, uh, that's only Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Come Ghost. On. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, <laughs> and it says, and beholding that man which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing again. Again, they were looking for an excuse they were looking to place blame. Yes. Looking for, for any reason. Mm -hmm. But but now th this man that they knew was lame from birth mm -hmm. was now standing and praising God according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Praising God. Uh, they, they couldn't find anything uh, uh, to, to blame them for. And not only that, the Bible... Uh, might not be in this passage of scriptures, but the Bible let us know that there were, because of their preaching and teaching, uh, there were now about 5,000 people that were standing with them. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. they, they, th those 5,000 people were ready to cause a riot if the if, if them elders, uh, uh, priests and scribes got out of pocket. They said, oh, oh, we going to handle this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, matter of fact, I saw I saw a, a video clip online about some police officers that were um, uh, mishandling and disrespecting uh, black males that they were trying to arrest. Mm -hmm. But the people that was around them looking, they had this man in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. One officer just unloaded, blah, blah. People, no, you, what, what you hitting them for? But they ain't just say no. What you, they started throwing garbage cans and mm -hmm. bottles. And, 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 and trust and believe, none of them got arrested because the DA looked at the video evidence mm -hmm. and said, oh, yeah, them, them cops was in the wrong. Mm -hmm. And when them people started to rebel, you could see the fear in them cops' eyes who knew they were wrong, you know, mm -hmm. calling for backup. And when backup mm -hmm. got there, they ain't come there acting stupid neither. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just all be calm, you know, mm -hmm. because the people stood up. Mm -hmm. You know, right is right and wrong is wrong. Amen. And, and even the guy that they were arresting, so called, for whatever reason, all charges were dropped. You know, I just so happy. Oh, oh, now we we really didn't want him. But why was you beating on him? Why was you uh uh um uh uh neglecting his rights? That's right. You know, and, and that's. But the people were here to stand behind Peter and John at this particular time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and they had just healed the man. Mm -hmm. And let us not forget, this is a, a time shortly 
after Pentecost, shortly after the Holy Ghost had come. Uh, and these people, as Peter pointed out, these people, these were no doubt some of the people that had witnessed Jesus' resurrection. Because the Bible said at one time after his uh, resurrection, he was seen by 500 people at one time. That, that was not no one person experience of, oh, I saw this. No, 500 people. You know, if I have a dream, or, or let me say, like, if I have a hallucination, uh, and I'm in a crowd of people, uh, it ain't going to be a crowd of people that got that same hallucination. That's right. you know, so if we all can uh, agree that we saw the same thing, oh, that was a real thing. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know, so undoubtedly, some of these people witnessed Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and they, they certainly witnessed that, that, that this man that was lame is now walking. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And as Peter has already said, because of his belief in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mm -hmm. and then he, uh, to emphasize it, you know, so, so that, so they that say, well, yeah, Jesus lived, he was a good teacher. Peter said, by, by none other name under heaven can man be saved. Amen. So if you're rejecting Christ in this day and age, uh, you you grieve in the Holy Ghost, and when you grieve the Holy Ghost, God said you can't. Be, the Bible says you can't be forgiven for that. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. But people, you know, in this today's time, people do call on a lot of different names. Yeah. To save them. Yeah. The president can't save you. Government can't save Hello. you. Mother, father cannot save you. No. Amen. But you have to call on Jesus. Yeah. When you're in trouble, that's the name with the power that could make things happen, that could change some things, that could prevent things from happening. The name of Jesus. There's still power in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can't deny it. You may not want to accept it. Come you may on. not even want to believe it. But that does not deny the truth that there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I got saved calling on the name of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Glory. I got saved calling on the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus saved me. And he came right in, and he saved me and filled me with his precious Holy Spirit. Amen. And I am so glad that he did. Amen. I am so glad that he did. Amen, minister. Amen. And there is, and, and again, you know, uh, whatever your religious background may be, your mm -hmm. spiritual affiliation, mm -hmm. I'm just going to give you what the Bible tells us. Again, uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 12 and I'm reading from the King James Version mm -hmm. here. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Mm -hmm. Now, ma many people uh, uh, like, to, like to go by, by the Old Testament, mm -hmm. uh, by the, the Mosaic Law. There's nowhere in the Mosaic Law that promises salvation. If you think you know the scripture, let me know. There's nowhere in the Mosaic law that promises salvation. Yeah, it promises your sins can be covered by a mm -hmm. sacrifice, mm -hmm. but, but yet and still, uh, if your sins are covered by a sacrifice, there's still a debt to pay. Mm. And Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, Jesus paid it all. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is it with the, with the song right there, all to him I owe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sin had, had, what is it? Sin had, had left his crimson stain, but he washed it white as snow. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory. Yeah. Oh, I'm glory. glad he did. Amen. Aren't you glad you say? Oh. Hallelujah. Glad you yeah. say? Yes, indeed. Yes. Hallelujah. Glad I'm saved. And, and living after his example. And, and let us not get this twisted because, you know, the minute you say, oh, I'm saved, some folks say, yeah, but you ain't perfect. No, the saved ain't never meant perfect. But I'm living after the perfect will of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mm -hmm. am. Trying to be more Christ-like every to be day. More Christ-like. Amen. Come more on. and more like Jesus each and every each day. Each and every day. Each and every day. 
Do, now, do I do I and I'm speak for myself? Do I make mistakes? Yes, I do. But but because of God's grace and mercy, He gives me opportunity to get right on today what I may have gotten wrong on yesterday. Amen. And I say, glory, glory Lord, glory thank to you. Your name, Hallelujah. <laughs> glory. And we don't, you know, mishandle or take advantage of His goodness, Come on, His now. grace, or His mercy. Yeah. Because we know He gave it to us. Come on. So we respect that. And we live a life, we try to live our life as best we can to God's standard. Amen. Amen. Because there's a difference in slipping. Mm -hmm. um, when you when when your intention was not to sin. Mm -hmm. But now if you're willfully sinning, mm -hmm. oh, that's something totally different. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's not you trying to live like Christ. No, that that's like you trying to put on a uh you're a hypocrite, and the word means two faces, which was the actors would do in the in the in the uh, biblical days, that's where the word comes from. Because the actor would act one way on stage, and in the, in the next scene, they'd be acting another way. Mm -hmm. That's where the word hypocrite actually comes from. Um, mm -hmm. But, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, did you want to say anything else, Minister? Let's go, Let's go. Okay, okay. Amen. Did you, uh, you want to read any of your commentary or anything? I want to read a little bit of the commentary, because we're talking a little bit about salvation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So there is no salvation without him. Amen. There's no salvation None. without him. None. We need him in our lives. Amen. Yeah. And it says, hallelujah, it said, if righteousness could be gained by our own effort or someone else's, then Jesus died in vain. Come on. Come on. Come on. And, and with that being said, let me read Acts 2 and 21. Mm -hmm. Acts 2 and 21. Because, again, <laughs> if you are rejecting Christ, if you're, rejecting you're doing it to your own detriment. Amen. And I'm going to continue this commentary okay. while you find it. Yep, yep. He said, but God in love mm -hmm. gave his son to man's redeeming. Come on. Only through accepting him, Come on. choice, your choice, my choice, your choice, yeah. only through accepting him, can men and women be saved? We're going to keep on Ooh. saying that. Only, Only through accepting him uh -huh. can we be saved. Because somebody's out there, they're rejecting him. They're rejecting him. They don't want you to call his come name. On. They don't want you to profess him or nothing like that. They try to just ruin his character. Come amen. On. Come on. But the words Peter preached, amen, must have pierced the heart of those leaders. Come on. They had rejected this only Savior, the only Savior. There's only no other. Savior. Come on, yeah. There's no. Nope. That's There's it. No other. There's no other. That meant they were not saved. Come on, come on. Come Religious on. leaders. Re yeah. If you reject it, <laughs> if you reject, if you're trying to be God, see that that was Lucifer's problem. He, he wanted his throne higher than God mm -hmm. because he he not only wanted to uh he no longer wanted to lead worship. He wanted to be worshipped. Come on. But and you know the devil has children too. Come on now. Come on. And let now. me finish my commentary. Oh, my oh yes. <laughs> I'll, the I'll devil listen. has kids. Hallelujah. Like many people today, they were religious, uh -huh. but they were not God's children. See, we're God's on, children. Now. We live in righteousness. Come but if you're not living righteousness, uh -huh. your father is uh the devil. The devil. And the father of lies. C come on. I I like that. Mm -hmm. Let me just say, you know, because we we we're, we're, we're you know, we we gonna end this in this uh, fallacy right now. We're not all <laughs> God's children. No, nope, we may no, be no. religious. No, we may be reli religious. We mm -hmm. may not may even not be religious. We're not all God's no, children. No, we're not. We now what we are are all <laughs> God's creation. Yes. But if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Oh, you're not a child of God. You're not adopted into the family. You have not gained redemption and acceptance into the family. Uh, and all that goes perfectly with verse 21, Acts 2 and 21. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm reading from the English Standard Version, which says, And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord mm -hmm. shall be saved. They're talking about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Men and women of Israel, hear these words, Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth, or Jesus of Nazareth. They're talking about if you call mm -hmm. on the name of Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Salvation is then 
gifted to you. Gifted. I like that word, gifted. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't have to pay for it because he paid for it. He paid it all. And you know what? If I had to, I couldn't afford it. People think they could buy their way. They may have billions of dollars. Yes. It cannot be bought. Hallelujah. Cannot be bought. Amen. Thank God for his gift. Amen. God bless you, Sister Christine. We see you. God bless you, Brother Christopher. We see you. Amen. Um, where are we at here now? Verse 15, I believe. Mm-hmm. And beholding in mm-hmm. bo- bo- 14. verse 14. Mm-hmm. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Verse number 15 says, But when they had commanded them to go aside, out of the council, they conferred with one another. They, they sent them to a corner. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna stand over here. <laughs> now, now, me and my buddy, we gonna get together and, and, and mm-hmm. talk this thing over. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and they began to ask, you know, talk between themselves and ask, what shall we do to these men? Uh, for, for that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them. Mm-hmm. It's manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny. See, he was known in Jerusalem as the lame man that could not walk. Mm-hmm. Now, and we know word travels fast. It does. Oh, and, and, and let something miraculous, like a man that has been lame for 40 years, mm-hmm. get up, start leaping, dancing, and praising God mm-hmm. by the word of two apostles that says, rise thee and walk. Come on now. That, that travels. And they say, and we, we can't deny the fact they couldn't deny it. that he is up now and dancing and Amen. walking and praising God. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and, and more specifically, praising Jesus of Nazareth, mm-hmm. by whom this miracle came by. Amen. My God. Amen. Amen. By who they they killed. Come on now. Come on now. And all that has to be brought, you know. Again, again, the truth only hurts when you want to live a lie. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, they, they want to forget that they murdered him, mm-hmm. or, or, or maybe not forget, but 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 they want to be reminded yeah, be at reminded. a time mm-hmm. when his name was being praised. Mm-hmm. You know, because and this is part of the intimidation. We got all these people. No doubt, mm-hmm. some of these same people, Caiaphas, mm-hmm. uh, was there. Uh, and, and ordering Jesus to be crucified. Mm-hmm. There was one, some of the ones at, in Jerusalem talk, screaming, crucify him, mm-hmm. crucify mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so they, they, their, their intention was to intimidate Peter and John. Amen. And, and, and no doubt, some of them heard tell that Peter denied him the, the, the day he was crucifying him. He, he was one of the ones, matter of fact, he started cussing. So, you know, <laughs> all we got to do is put up a big front. He going he to cower down, mm-hmm. you know. But the Holy Spirit was was, was full in him. Amen. And, and, and when we are weak, oh, my God. Oh, yes. The, the Spirit strengthens us. The Holy Spirit strengthens us and give us what to say. Amen. Oh, no, yes. He was charged, charged with power. He had to be power to draw all those people. Yes. And, amen. Yeah, amen. It has to be God's power to draw all those people. Amen. Amen. And he'll do the same for you. He'll do the same for us. As we go out and witness the word of God and share the good news under the power of the Holy Ghost, Mm. we begin to draw people. He would draw. And and, and that's the the key. He would draw. That's why we ought not to get upset. Mm -hmm. Uh, And we're going to end it uh, right here. Our time is, is, is... being as far spent, mm-hmm. uh, I'll, I'll come back on Wednesday and, and cap it all up. But mm-hmm. tonight we're going to end it here because I don't want to take advantage of anyone's time, uh, even if you know uh, situations prevented me from being here uh, a little earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, the Holy Spirit will give us power to say. Uh, those things that we've studied now, I, and I wanna, I wanna go back to that because far too often I've heard it uh, in conversating with other folk, and, and and I'm not only talking about unbelievers, I'm talking mm-hmm. about them that say they believe, but but believe that the Spirit, you know, I ain't gotta study for Sunday's sermon, you know, at the time the Spirit would give me what to say, 
No, bro, that ain't what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. fact, the Bible says study to show thyself approved. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that the Holy Spirit will tell you what to say at that. No, if you're being charged, charged for uh, proclaiming the word, mm -hmm. if you're being charged for teaching Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, then at that time, the Bible says the Holy Spirit will give you what to say. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and, and, and you know, the Bible says, because if you're being perse persecuted for Christ's sake, mm -hmm. oh, you got you got an extra gem in your crown. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Did you want to uh, give us a, a, a conclusion? conclusion? Yes. All right. I have a conclusion of the matter. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. The conclusion of the matter. The examination of the apostles before the Sanhedrin household was become a standard procedure. This was the official ruling body of the Jewish nation and was composed of 71 members, including the high priest as president. In identifying exactly what happened with the healing of the lame beggar at the gate called Beautiful, see Acts 3, 1 through 7, yeah. Peter testified to the miraculous power of Jesus Christ. Right. The miraculous power of Jesus Christ. Amen. That, that, that kind of weighs in it. The miraculous mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Amen. So when commanded by the council not to speak in the name of Jesus anymore, Peter and John clearly stated mm -hmm. that they had no choice but to continue Come to on. speak the things which we have seen and heard. Can we make that same commitment? Come on, we, we, we can we make that same commitment? I can't deny it. I, I, I cannot deny that he is a good God. Amen. That Come he on. is a healer. Amen. The healing Jesus. Come on. I'm sh I can only hope that my commitment could be like that of Peter and John, mm -hmm. you know, who walked with Jesus, mm -hmm. who witnessed his crucifixion, mm -hmm. who witnessed his resurrection, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and, and that's what they're going off of. You know, listen, Peter said, you know, if what I'm saying offends you, then, then do what you must. But I, I must preach Christ mm -hmm. because I know. And, and that's the thing. You know, th those of us that have had a true experience with Christ, no, you know, it, it could be just you and Christ. Ain't got to be nothing miraculous. Mm -hmm. Ain't got to be, you know, you have fallen out of building any, any say. No, but just to have the spirit that's filled within you. Of his glory. Oh, my uh, hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. His glory. His glory. I like that. When, when, when we fill with that, mm -hmm. it, there's, again, something within. You know, and, and, and we can't hold it. We get, now we can understand what Jeremiah was saying when he said, you know, I, when I told myself I would preach no more in his name, I, I ain't even going to proclaim his word no more. He said, but I was weary from withholding it in, and it was like a fire shut up in my bones. He said, I, I, I could not help but to proclaim the word, even when they didn't want to hear it. I, I had to proclaim it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Okay. When they don't want to hear it, still proclaim it. Yes. Don't let them shut your mouth. Don't let Come the on. enemy silence you. Amen. Amen. God has been good to all of us. All of us. Hallelujah. How can we not proclaim Jesus, especially Amen. in these dark times? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, that, we're going to wrap it up right there for tonight. On Wednesday, I'll come back and uh, do the last few few mm -hmm. verses mm -hmm. um, that we might get a, a full conclusion of what is being said through the scriptures. Yes. But I believe we touched a, 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 um, on some great points on this evening. Mm -hmm. But we... Believe the whole Bible. We believe the whole Bible. We believe the whole Bible. Mm -hmm. And listen, and I want to say this because um, if there is some scriptures in the Bible that people are telling you, and even if you believe they ain't living it, that, that ain't your business. So what? God says, you heard the word because on judgment day, God ain't going to ask you, what did that person that told, mm -hmm. let me put, what did that preacher that, that told you the word that wasn't practicing it, you know, he ain't going to ask you how he lived. He's going to say, what did you do with the word when you heard it? 
So, so you know, let us not get off into that. Uh, that sh- they, they, they ain't living worth nothing. But if they give you the word of God, because God done used some, 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 um, some, some dirty people. Let me put it like that oh, in yes. the Bible. Oh yes. God done used a donkey to to say, who, who was it? Na- Na- uh, neighbor Nacon, what's his name? Uh, I, I, I want to say, I want to say, um, it started with an N, and, uh, and it's, it's escaping me right now. But he used the donkey to uh, stop him from riding uh, into the a- into the path where the angel was with the sword that was ready to kill him because he was willing to prophesy against God's people mm-hmm. from. Uh, from taking money from an oh, unholy man, um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, neighbor, neighbor, Nacon. Uh, and I don't want to mess you up while you uh, doing what you're doing. But God will use some unholy people yes. uh, to get the to get His children in line. Mm-hmm. So when you hear the word, it don't matter how that person living. It don't matter who that person is. It don't even matter if you think that person uh, is trying to make a, 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 a be sarcastic. Ta- take heed to that word. Take heed to the word of God and read yes. the word of God. And like you were saying, it's so true that when you stand before God, it's you and God. Amen. And he will not ask you about me. He will not ask you about Elder Craig. Come on. He'll ask you about you. What did you do? What did you do with your time? What did you do with the word? What did you do with what I gave you? What did you do on earth? Yes. Hallelujah. I want to hear him say, well done. Amen. 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 Uh, it's in the numbers. Numbers 22 and 23. Balaam and, uh, mm-hmm. uh, but that, who, let's see. And Balaam struck the donkey. Okay. <laughs> that, 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 that's what it is. I don't know where I get the end from. Okay. Um, I saw Balaam, but I didn't see the, the. Well, I'm, I'm in uh, Numbers, okay. the 22nd chapter, uh, beginning at verse 22. Let, let me say this. But God's anger was kindled because he went and the angel of the Lord mm-hmm. took his stand in the way of his adversary. Mm-hmm. Now he was riding on the donkey mm-hmm. and his two servants were with him. And the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand. Mm-hmm. And the donkey turned aside out of, out of the road and went into the field. And Balaam struck the donkey to turn her into the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in the narrow path between the vineyards with a wall on either side. And when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she mm-hmm. pushed against the wall and pressed Balaam's foot against the wall. So he struck her again. And the angel of the Lord went ahead and stood in the narrow place where there was no way to turn, either to the right or to the left. The angel was going to kill Balaam. But when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she lay down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was ki- was kindled. And he struck the donkey with his staff. That's three times he struck the donkey. Then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey and said to Balaam, What have I done to you? that you have struck me these three times. (laughs) And Balaam said to the donkey, because you have made a fool of me, the donkey trying to save (laughs) Balaam's life, Uh, I wish I had a sword in my hand, for then I would kill you. And the donkey said to Balaam, am I not your donkey on which you have ridden all your life (laughs) long to this day? It is, uh, is it my habit to treat you this way? And Balaam said to the donkey, no. (laughs) <laughs> then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel standing in the way with the sword drawn. Come on, y'all. I, I just wanted to read that because I brought it up, and I don't want to leave us hanging. Numbers, the 22nd chapter, beginning at verse 22. That's talks a about good story. Amen. And it is. And it is. And, and, you know, again, like I said, it, we know these stories, but if we don't continuous, continuously read them, ourselves right we're, we're we're apt to forget uh exactly where they are mm-hmm. or exactly the names That's of the people right. yes. because i don't know why i was thinking of in for balaam <laughs> uh, but hey 
Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know that story. Now, we have animals. I don't have one at this time, but growing up, we had an animal. I just couldn't imagine one of our animals talking back. (laughs) (laughs) God is miraculous. He can do anything. Amen. He can do anything. We cannot put a limit on God. Amen. 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 Uh, Sister Christine said the volume is low. Let me see. Uh, I hope it wasn't low all, all along. Might have been my, might have been my, where I had my mic set at. Amen. I, I can hear. So I, I hope, hopefully it wasn't uh, low all along. I think, I think Miss Alicia's mic is, is louder than mine because I know I get louder than she does. She, 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 she quiet. I get, I get excited and shout. She got the power. She got fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, all right. With that being said, join us on Wednesday for uh, the final few verses of this lesson. Um, but don't forget to tune in tonight in the 10 o'clock hour. Sister mm-hmm. Tara will give us a word of, of, of scripture, a song of praise, and, and whatever God has laid upon her heart. And tomorrow night is the House of Prayer, Praise, and Worship. And I believe it may be Minister Isaiah, mm-hmm. Isaiah giving us what God has laid upon His heart. Mm-hmm. And uh, every no- week weeknights at in the seven p.m. hour, Monday through Friday, you can get a word from the Lord. Uh, and in the ten o'clock hour, Monday through Saturday, Sister Tara is giving us a song of praise, a uh, uh, word of prayer, whatever God has laid upon her heart. Mm-hmm. And let us not forget this Friday. Uh, we're going to be in Albion. Mm-hmm. Albion. I, I don't have the address of where we're going to be, but tune into the Greater Royal uh, Worship Center's page, Amen. and you'll get you'll find that information. Our very own apostle will be in Albion. We're going to be there to support them. It's an outdoor service. We're preaching to the community. Mm-hmm. We're taking the word of God into the streets. Bring your lawn chairs. Come on, bring your lawn chairs. Mm-hmm. And as the word tells us, you know, God, God sends us into the highways and to the hedges mm-hmm. to give his word yes, that we does. might give them an invitation. Amen. We know Come what on. to say. Come on. Yeah, we amen. got the word tonight. Amen. We charged with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. So we're going out to be a blessing and witness. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. Hey man, all right. I'm looking at the time, and let Uh-oh. me let me cut it off. <laughs> all right, minister, if you don't mind, uh, close us in prayer. And Amen. I just want to encourage everybody to keep on praying Amen. for the Lord is nigh. Yes. Keep on praying; He will hear your cry. Amen. Amen. For the Lord has promised, and His word is true. Just keep on praying; He will answer you. Amen. Father God, thank you for your goodness and your mercy for everything. We thank you for this word that we have heard on tonight. We ask that you would just bless us in your word, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, as we go forth and spread the good news of the gospel. Charge us. Fill us up, God, with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That we shall want no more in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you continue to bless the the building blocks of faith. Amen. Amen. Bless this um, Bible study, God. Bless Minister Craig. We thank you for his vision. God, we ask that you will continue to bless in Jesus' name. Jesus Thank you for joining us, and we will see you again soon. Amen. 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 May the Lord continue to bless Minister Alicia as well. Amen. Amen. Uh, may heaven smile upon you. May God bless you. Till the next time, good night.